doing this. Oh, something smells really good. I don't know what's who's cooking what downstairs, but geez, it smells awesome. Hey, Sean, how's it going, man? <laughs> I just got destructo disked. <laughs> All color. And we're going to come over here, take our ball mat, and make a material instance. Generic ball. And we're going to color this. Um, you know what, for now, let's do a... just white. Um, actually, I might do emissive white. Um, that way it's kind of visible. My concern would be that it'd be kind of hard to see. But... Hey, what's up, Dylan? <laughs> okay. Uh, there we go. So we got this this very bland white wall. Then we've got our other ones. So I'm gonna put a blue one here. Whoa! What happened to the lighting here? Light source movable. I don't know what happened to the light there, but that was weird, and now it's not weird. So, bloop. So we're going to put a blue wall here. I'm sure you guys can kind of guess where this is going. So we need I'm gonna put a red wall here. Hmm. I'm sorry. I meant to put a green wall here. Or I guess I could do both. Okay, so. Got these. How am I going to do this? I need, I need to put two walls on one. That way it's kind of like, oh, well, I've got to wait for this. Um... Here's the all colored one, which is going to be blue. So we got the blue. So to get to the blue, you need one to sit on blueprint based on this cube generic get all cast to physics ball okay so in this case instead of checking for a specific ball we're just going to check and see if a ball is on this switch if so, then do once, get all 
characters of class, if I can spell. Very good point, famous. We're, you know, we're just going to get rid of this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Thank you for catching my mistake from yesterday <laughs> or Wednesday. Wednesday. It was Wednesday. Oh, God. You can tell I have not had enough coffee today. And I had five shots of espresso this morning. That was not an insignificant amount. Uh, all... Or... Door... What did I call that thing? <sighs> all color. Okay, yeah. All color. Boom. Get in this one, we just have to get a zero. We're going to run a and in all color. Custom events. Run door down. We'll just call it door down. Compile. Compile. Okay. So all this is going to do is run the door down script. this case we do only need the two doors need door B there it is um, the reason I'm not doing it in the parent this time is because we want specific uh, things to access this. Uh, la, 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 la. What was I going to say? Okay. Okay. Yeah. So um, what I want, actually, now that I think about it, I could do it in the parent script. Famous, great call. Um, I wasn't thinking about this because I was thinking, you know, I have to have specific instances that run the script itself. Um, and what I could do... Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to have the actual door down script within the parent function. And then all I have to do is get you know those specific doors and only tell them. Yep, you are absolutely right, sir. So let me go back to this, get rid of this, which is going to break my child goal here, get rid of it. Then what we're going to do is go back to our door script here, custom event, door down. Okay. Timeline. Yeah, famous. That was a that was a great call. Play down, boom, and we're gonna go for a one second straight down. Add key. There we go. Set this to one. Use last keyframe. Compile. Save. Event graph. Okay, so this should run from 
basically start to one. Lerp vector. Get actor world location. Get actor world location. Get world location. <sighs> there we go. Minus. For now, let's go with 100. Set relative location. Okay, save this. Now we can run the door down. Now, the question is, is whether this will run on all of them or if it's just going to run on the one, which is what I'm hoping for, it'll just run on the one. Knowing my luck, however, here we go again with this. Let me get my player controller. Compile. Play. Oh, right, I didn't put a copy of this in the level. General. Goal. So we got this thing here. So if I come up, roll on top of this. Whoa, hey buddy, what the hell just happened? setting a world location. I don't think this will be... Set location... Get location... The question is whether I need the relative location or whether I need the world location. I think I'll actually need the relative. But, uh, let's see, you should cache off the world location value. Yeah, see, I'm, I'm thinking I actually need the relative location here. Stupid thing. Where's my controller? You know, I'm just going to keep this off to the side since I'm not changing anything in it so that I can keep recompiling it, because it seems like when I recompile, it works fine. Well, we've had this problem before, and I remember we've solved it... How did we solve it? Oh, that helps. Helps if I actually plug it in, you know. So let's see. I want to say it's supposed to be relative location. Yeah, see, it's, it's not liking the world location. So let's get rid of this. Do get relative. Bloop, bloop, let's try it now. After I compile so that the stupid camera thing can fix. That drives me nuts that it does that. Yep, that was it. That was what we needed right there. <laughs> 